Lady Geetha Gurumuthi. Now, as we've been reporting following his surprise visit to Kiev, the US President Joe Biden is in Poland today, a country that has emerged as one of Ukraine's strongest allies. Many in Poland see the war as a real threat, a feeling that shapes their response. This from Sarah Rainsford. Racing across eastern Poland towards NATO's latest line of defence. These are German troops, sent to stop the war in Ukraine from spilling across the border. We were given access to their camp to see these Patriot air defence systems now planted on Polish farmland. The landscape of Eastern Europe is being transformed by a war that seemed unimaginable just a year ago. And how effective are they? Um, it's above 90%. 90%? Yeah. So we're not the aggressors, we're just defending our, yeah, of our, our own territory, our NATO territory. The commander tells me all this is a message to Moscow to keep its missiles out of NATO airspace. And can you definitely shoot those down? Can you definitely take them out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm convinced that we'll do it as soon as it crosses the border. It doesn't matter if it's an helicopter, an airplane or a, a missile, uh, we're allowed to engage this target. The Ukrainian border is just about 35 kilometres in that direction, the way that those missiles are pointing. And the German forces who operate them have told us that if there was a Russian jet or a Russian missile that crossed that border, then they'd have under two minutes to react. The Patriots were brought in after two farmers were killed not far from here. That time, it seems a Ukrainian air defence missile misfired, but it shook people in these borderlands. Adam tells me villagers worry the war that's so close to them will cross the border. They discuss that a lot here. It's why Poland has pushed its allies to arm Ukraine better for the fight, including with Leopard 2 battle tanks. We saw Ukrainian soldiers training on them here before they're sent to the front line. Like all Western weapons, the route in is through Poland. It's why there's talk of a power shift now in Europe to the east. And Poland aims to back that up with force. Weekend soldiers like Sylvia are part of a drive to boost interest in the military and create the biggest land army in Europe. People here say the threat from Russia seems more immediate, more real, though Sylvia herself isn't rushing to enlist. The war is uh, since one year uh, uh, with, uh, with Ukraine. I need to feel more, pro more safety, so that's why I do this training. I'm, I'm really, I'm, will be very happy if I never use it, uh, but I would like to have the skills. The war Russia is waging on its neighbour is changing Poland too, right on the front line of the West's response. Sarah Rainsford, BBC News, in eastern Poland. Well, Sarah joins us live from Warsaw. Sarah, nearly a year on and we are due to hear from President Biden, having just heard from Vladimir Putin. Your thoughts on both of those speeches today? Well, it's interesting, isn't it? The two uh, presidents going head to head, in a sense, both making their big speeches today. Of course, Joe Biden slightly uh, changed by the fact that he made that surprise visit to Kiev and spoke so powerfully there alongside President Zelensky. But still, here in Warsaw and, in fact, across Eastern Europe in particular, I think a lot of people looking to see what uh, President Biden says here in this country. They see it really as a reflection of the change in their status, a, a slight shift in the power in Europe, more importance now given to Poland, given that it's playing such a pivotal role in terms of the Western support for Ukraine. Not only missiles going into Ukraine, but of course humanitarian aid as well, travelling through Poland, all of it. And there's been a huge response here in Poland from people supporting Ukraine, giving houses to Ukrainian refugees, uh, giving money, uh, a real kind of rallying behind that cause. So they want to hear uh, from uh, President Biden, the US leader, uh, what he makes of that and what message right now on the ye on the eve of that that one year anniversary of the beginning of Russia's war on Ukraine what message Joe Biden is bringing here to the people of this region as well as to their neighbor Ukraine okay Sarah Rainsford we will